Hey guys, Lewis here for Pixel Surplus and today we're going to be learning how to access alternates and ligatures in different Adobe programs. So let's begin in Adobe Illustrator. The font I've selected to use is Brolimo by Elite Design. Brolimo really takes full advantage of open type features inside Adobe programs. This font and many more like it can be found at Pixel Surplus. Links will be in the description. So let's begin with the basics. Head to Window, Type, Glyphs. Under Show, click Entire Font. This is going to give you access to every character inside this typeface. You can replace any letter by highlighting them, heading to the Glyphs panel, and double clicking on a new character. But say you only want to find alternates for one letter. Not a problem. Highlight that one letter that you want to change, head to Show, Alternates for Current Selection and that will bring you up all of the options for that particular character. Some other great options in this menu are show discretionary ligatures, standard ligatures, or stylistic alternates. Now if opening the glyphs panel isn't quite your style, an awesome feature that comes with open type fonts is the ability to highlight any characters and change them for their alternates or ligatures. This small menu will give you all of the alternates for the character you've highlighted. This is perfect if you just need to make a few quick changes to your type. And finally, let's use the open type panel to get the most out of our open type font. Head to window, type, open type. This will bring up the open type panel. With your type selected, head to the open type panel. Choosing standard ligatures will reset your type with the default ligatures. Applying discretionary ligatures will apply a more decorative ligature. Choosing stylistic alternates will apply an alternate to every character that has one. Whilst applying a stylistic set will apply a group of ligatures that the typographer has created to be a cohesive unit. Alright, let's take everything we just learned and put it to use. We're going to be creating two different logos. First, let's take the type we have and turn it back to the default setting by hitting standard ligatures and turning off stylistic alternates. Let's copy and paste that. Select the type you just copied, head to the open type panel and select stylistic alternates. Okay, definitely different, but with a few alterations and the skills that you just learnt, you can have these two logos looking great in no time. So play around until you have your desired outcome. And there you have it, an introduction to open type features in Adobe Illustrator. So next, let's move on to Photoshop. The font I've chosen to use is Savaga by Ratana Chris Moati. And just like Bro Limo from the Illustrator demonstration, this can also be found on pixelsurplus.com. Link to these fonts will be in the description, as well as the link to Pixel Surplus. So let's begin by opening the Glyphs panel. You can do this by heading to Windows and choosing Glyphs. In the drop down menu, choosing Entire Font will show you every character in this typeface. You can change any letter by highlighting, heading to the glyphs panel, and clicking on a new one. If you're just looking for alternates or ligatures to one letter, highlight that letter, head to the glyphs panel, and in the drop down menu, choose alternates for this selection. You'll be sure to find a ligature or alternate that works for you inside of this panel. One great feature of an open type font is the ability to highlight a character and choose an alternate from the menu below. This is a great way to make some quick changes to your type. And finally, to get the most out of our open type font, we're going to want to open the character panel. You do this by heading to window and character. And just like in Illustrator before, this gives us the opportunity to access all of these different open type features, such as standard ligatures, contextual alternates, discretionary ligatures, swashes, and stylistic alternates. Let's practice what we just learned. Begin by turning off all of the open type features. Let's copy and paste our text. With the text you just copied, now apply all of the skills that you've learned so far, until you have two logos, one being the default text, and the other being a balance of ligatures and alternates using all of the open type features. And there you have it how to access alternates and ligatures using the open type features in Photoshop. Like and subscribe, 
and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see from me next. And come visit us at pixelsurplus.com for thousands of free fonts, textures, and mockups, as well as unbelievable discounts on the best font bundles on the internet. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.